I step out for three days and this is what happens. That's crazy. I, lo- I, I mean, it was on the horizon that they were going to be doing stuff like this. But can you guys, can you guys imagine? Ima- imagine. This is a thought experiment. Imagine a world. We're playing make pretend here. Imagine a world. Follow with me. Play along. It's going to be fun. Imagine a world where there's a virus. But in this imaginary make-believe world, we're not sure if the virus is actually a virus or if it's something else because we've never isolated the virus. We've never tested for the virus. So we go, oh, there's, people are dying of something. We're not sure what. We think it's this thing called the coronavirus, but we can't really test for it because in this make-believe world, um, the test that we're using to test for it was never designed to test for it in the first place, right? So we live in this sort of fantasy world where we're testing for a virus that was that the inventor specifically said, hey, don't test for shit using this test because it's not, it doesn't detect diseases. It doesn't de- detect infectious diseases. So if you're gonna look for a new disease, don't use this test. So in this imaginary world, we're using that test, the one where the inventor specifically said, don't use this. So we're using that half the time the test is negative, a, a false negative, half times it's a false positive, meaning the results are completely inconsistent. Now in this make-believe world, on top of that, the virus that's super deadly doesn't really have any symptoms because it has a 99.7% survival rate. So in this make-believe world, we're sort of forcing people with, uh, against, their, against their will to get these tests for this disease that's so deadly that it doesn't, you know, you have to test to see if you even have it in the first Not Now on top of that, we have the government kicking in people's doors and basically kidnapping people, right? Because they're taking people against their will. They're taking innocent people. I should clarify that because you can take criminals from their homes against their will all the time. You know, you break the law, you have a penalty for breaking the law. But in this case, in this make-believe fantasy world, no one's actually broken the law. You know, they've, they've and they're not even necessarily sick because, again, the test that we're using was never designed to detect for infectious diseases. On top of that, the test that we are using has a 50% false negative and false positive. So we don't really know who the hell has it and who the hell doesn't have it. So using the justification of that, using the justification of that, we have now... Uh, not we in this make-believe fantasy world they've they've sort of allowed the government to kick in the doors and take children from their parents take parents from their children take grandparents from wherever lock them up in quarantine what if i if i were reading a script for this i'd be like oh that's cool sort of some some sort of post modern technocratic um dystopia where the government has too much power and they're sort of using um this sort of quote-unquote fake virus to kidnap people from their homes and do all sorts of nazi-esque shit dope sounds like a good movie when does it come out turns out this is real life if you guys haven't been um picking up on the sarcasm so far this is real life this is this is real life you guys i step out of social media for a few days come back and the government of Australia is kicking in doors kicking in doors kidnapping innocent people from their homes based off of based off the manufactured scare tactics of mainstream media uh, for a virus that has a 99.7 survival rate based off of a rising case count Not death counts, because the deaths have actually been dwindling steadily for months now. Based off a rising case, positive case count, based off a test that was never designed to detect infectious diseases in the first place, um, based off a test that's giving 50% false negatives and 50% false positives. I don't even, there's not even a really, there's not even really an analogy that goes to that. It's, it's fucking, it's just... That's as bad as it gets. It literally, it doesn't, it doesn't get as bad as that. It doesn't get as, 
And the dude who's running this whole sh uh, this whole shit show, Bill Gates, uh, is sort of pulling the strings as far as what we're gonna do, how the world should go forward in this health crisis. He's not even a doctor, he's a software engineer. Fun fact, uh, Bill Gates, Microsoft, de designed viruses for his own computer systems so that the computers could become infected so that he could then sell the antivirus software to protect from the viruses that he introduced in the first place. Go look this shit up. Fast forward two and a half decades, Homeboy has patents for the coronavirus, the one that we're going through right now, and now he has the vaccination. So he's saying, I'm gonna have the vaccinations real soon. So fast forward two and a half decades, he's literally done the same exact thing that he did with his computers. Created a virus and then created the cure for the virus and patented them both. He's, he's done on both. You guys gotta look this shit up. Like, it's not, I stopped the make-believe part of this video about two and a half minutes ago. Now, I took a little break from social media. I didn't really... Um, I was messaging the homies here and there, right? The, the Messaging the important homies here and there. And I thought, damn, if it wasn't for Instagram, if it wasn't for Facebook, if it wasn't for YouTube, if it wasn't for the news, and I was just going about my day, the coronavirus wouldn't exist. Like, my, my uncle passed away from the coronavirus. My great uncle passed away from the coronavirus. They put him on a breather and he died within a week. So, and I've been saying this for a while now, I do believe that people are dying from something. I'm not saying that people aren't dying, right? Because six months in, I finally met, you know, I finally know someone firsthand who I, who's passed away from the, from the world's deadliest disease in modern history after six months. Um, I'm not saying it doesn't, that people aren't dying from something. I'm saying the whole fucking story is just horseshit. I don't personally think it's an infectious disease at all. I think people are dropping dead from 5G. That should be another video altogether. Altogether. Let's see if I can make a 30 second elevator pitch and what I think about 5G. There's zero tests on the health, or on the, on the health safety of 5G. Zero. Zero tests have been done to see whether they are um, safe or not. Zero. Zero. From blasting the world with microwave radiation, tens of thousands of these 5G towers have already been put up, rolled out all over the world. Actually, I take that back. There has been a number of scientific studies on 5G, and the vast majority of them have shown how devastating they are to life, period. To bacterial life, to animal life, to human life. That's the end of my spiel. Anywho, we can make a different video on 5G. That's why I think people are dropping dead. No, no major social media influencer will speak out against, will say the things that I'm saying. They won't. No, because they'll get shadow banned. The videos will be straight up taken down, like London, like real London TV, like David Icke. Um, if you say things like I'm saying, and you're a large social media influencer, your channel will be shut down demonetized your videos removed etc an interesting thought because the whole point of something like youtube in the first place was to get the perspective of potentially 7 billion people across the planet anyone with access to the internet could post their own their own subjective reality they could say hey this is what i'm seeing in my world this is what my life looks around me. This is how my friends and family, this is what I think, this is what I feel. This is the information that I've learned about over the past couple days. Check out my sources, I'd like to share that with you guys. And overnight we could get that from seven billion people. We don't have that anymore. Now what we have is, go look this up too. Um, they just issued something saying, your diet will not help your immune system and that people should stop putting false information online regardless of what you eat or drink you will still be susceptible to the damages and dangers and risks of the coronavirus that is the biggest load of crap i think i've ever heard or i should say read in my entire fucking life you guys are you kidding me the government came out and said your diet will not help you against diseases i'm gonna say that one more time government said the food you eat what you drink and consume 
will not raise your immune system to prevent and slash or fight off infectious diseases. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, it's been interesting, you guys. It's been it's been a wild it's a wild one. It's a wild one we're living in, I swear. Don't get too worked up over what I'm saying. Don't get too worked up over the information that I'm giving you. I'm not I'm not making this video to fearmonger. I'm not making this video to like doom and gloom. I'm not making this video so everyone can run around and, you know, look how twisted humanity is and look how fucked up the world is. Oh, the world sucks. Like, no, get the fuck out of here. That's the whole... The CNN, Fox, you know, your favorite Republican speaker, your favorite Democratic speaker, your favorite mainstream celebrity, all the people at the 1%, the top of the top, whatever fucking race, creed, gender you associate with, those fucks are the ones that are out there preaching the world is shit, right? But people like you, people like myself, our communities all know that for the most part, humanity is wonderful. For the most part, humans want to take care of each other. For the most part, humans want to look after each other. For the most part, humans don't want fucking bombs dropped in their backyard. I, and I'm sure you, and I'm sure the next hundred people I ask don't want to send their sons to get their fucking bodies blown in half or get their minds blown in half and get shipped back home a shell of their former self. We don't want that shit. None of us do. Humanity is not bad. Humanity is not a, a parasite. Humanity is not... Humanity is just confused right now. You know what I mean? There's just a severe lack of information. There's a, se a severe lack of connection. There's a severe lack of communication and understanding between one another. Because when it comes down to it, we all bleed red blood. We all want the best. We all want progress. We all want health and safety. Um, and we know that the planet is infinitely abundant to provide everything that we need everything i'm not talking wishy-washy spiritual shit i'm talking if you think of the trillions of dollars that all the nations around the world put into fucking blowing each other up if if that money was put into sustainable um, agriculture or sustainable energy and sustainable development if those hundreds of trillions of dollars were put into studies on the proper foods and the proper diets and breeding the the plants and, and vegetables to have you know four or five times the nutritional content the vatican alone has enough gold and jewels in it to solve world's hunger fucking three times over was the last uh, the, the last statistic i read on how wealthy the catholic church is what was the, what's the last time you guys saw the catholic church selling diamonds and melting down gold to take care of the starving kids in africa the masses are are just severely I want to say miseducated but not in a bad way it's not like it's just we, we gotta wake up what our world experience what our world is experiencing today is an extremely corrupt upper echelon of human or subhuman some sort of human alien reptilian hybrid shit is dominating the world and and the masses are dominated by an overly passive I'll just say it, sheepish, sheepish sort of view. Most people don't question the mainstream narrative. Most, most people don't question any narrative. As long as someone hears something enough, it becomes truth. And there's hundreds of tests to look this up. Fucking read a psychology book. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Because the world has woken up. Earlier today, I was on Instagram for the first time, and this advertisement popped up, and they were like, this new Christian TV platform with kid for kids. It's like Netflix, but it's for kids, and we're Christian people, we're Christian folk, and we love your kids. And my first thought was, oh my God, Catholics are considered Christians because they follow Christ. Um, I thought, we all know how much Catholics love their children with the pedophiles and shit that the Pope himself was covering up. Apparently, no one wants to talk about that. Um, so I, I was like, oh, does anyone have this train of thought? Like, is there any some twisted pedophilia stuff going on with these Christians for TV shows for kids? And, uh, and so I go through the comments. The first comment says, I would like to know who's funding this, who owns the company, uh, what your goal is. I want to know who's behind this TV show, this Christian TV show for children. And they responded. 
Mind you, they res I, I went through about 20 plus comments. They responded in detail to every comment on that advertisement, except this one. Their response was, hey, we would love to answer any and all questions that you have. Please feel free to contact us in the DM. Are you fucking kidding me? Captain Christian TV for children? You answer every single question in detail on this comment, uh, on this comment feed. And the people who say, well, who are you guys? Who funds you? Where do you get your money from? Who runs you? What else do they run? As if that was un an unfair question to ask considering all the pedophilia that's going around that's not getting any news coverage, right? All the pedophilia symbols, we have all the Wayfair boxes popping up, selling fucking storage containers for 15 grand, matching the names of missing children. Like, get the fuck out of here. You kidding me? It gives me hope. Right, because everyone's questioning the hell out of everyone and everyone's running scared. Because people aren't fools. Mama ain't raised no papa ain't raised no fool. Papa ain't raised no fool. So help me spread the message, you guys, because this video is for sure gonna get shadow banned. Share it, like it, comment, if I can raise the awareness, do the things you gotta do. And if you have your own experiences, start your own YouTube channel, start posting shit on Instagram. Because like I said, people who are making money off of Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, those guys aren't gonna share information like this because they're not gonna get paid for it. Their platforms are gonna get defunded. So I, that's why I said earlier that this is sort of the age of no longer having uh, genuine social media interactions. No more genuine social commentary on what's going on from substantial uh, platforms. Because they're all fucking scared. I listened to Aaron Dotty the other way. The other, I know for a fact that Aaron Dotty has the same thoughts that I do. Just watching his stuff, following what he does. But whenever you post a video on it, he goes, I don't know what's going on. I don't want to say too much. You know, guys, there's a, sort of, there's a spiritual warfare going on right now. We all got to be in point. We all got to be in tune. And that's enough, right? I get it. That's, he's waking people up in his own way. But you'll never see him say shit verbatim the way I do. His platform's way too big. He's pushing a million subscribers. And it goes for him and every other major platform, social media platform runner. No one will say shit as verbatim, as black and white, as point and blank as I am. I probably wouldn't even be doing it if my channel was that big. I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna sit up here and say I'm a fucking saint, but at this point, I got nothing to lose, right? My, my channel's not that big. I got what, 12k? Dropping the bucket compared to these. Some of these dudes, Aaron Dodge made 12k sub subscribers in the past two and a half months. Are you kidding me? Like, chump change. So, if you guys could share this, um, we got. Just be homies. Just love, give love, accept love. Focus on the love. Focus on your own demons. Sort of try to get your own darknesses out. You know what I mean? And I shouldn't say don't eradicate your darknesses, but integrate them. Become aware of them. Study them. See how, allow them to, allow your darknesses to become a part of you so that when you, when you utilize them, it's just part of your character that doesn't destroy you, that just makes you who you are. You know what I mean? If that doesn't make sense to you, it will soon enough. So with that being said, love you guys, take it easy, and I'll see you soon. Alright, alright, peace out.